Hello YouTube. So uh, on this episode, I'm gonna work on the hood. I uh, like this hood, but I really want this car to look more traditional. Have the Ram Air Mad Max, um, you know, like the Mach One style hood. So here's the plan. I have a regular flat hood here that's in horrible shape off of a 73 and these um these hood scoops that come off of a vehicle a long time ago and i'm gonna see if i can't bolt these on and maybe sculpt some some um ridges in the front to kind of make it look more like the movie car so i don't know we'll see how this goes um i'll cut you back on when i got progress all right so the uh expanding foam was a complete disaster but I think what I got now is going to end up working better. What I did was I cleaned all that off. Um, it's just, it wasn't working the way I wanted it to. And I had to patch the hood anyway. So I decided to just go in with metal and some round stop and create the ridges. And um, this hood was in horrible, horrible shape. Um, there's a corner I got the steel patch. But anyway, so... I had to patch that and I decided what I was going to do was make this piece kind of fit the front end better because it's a 73 hood. This was originally built off a 72 front end originally when I made it. But anyway, I decided to tie it in here. And I think what I'm going to do now is I might fiberglass them in a little more, but being as this whole car is supposed to be like a, um, a scavenger is trying to kind of, cosplay is max or be inspired by the black on black i might leave it like this because it's supposed to be kind of cobbled together and not exactly right so um i think i think that's what i might do i don't know but i'll keep you posted i've also been working some i got the headlights on these are buckets out of a f-150 and uh i got the pasture side setting, I still got a driver's side to do, but the front end's coming together. Um, yeah. So, uh, when I got progress, I'll give you an update. All right. So some progress has been made on the car. It's been a few weeks since I filmed last, but I got some, uh, base coat on the uh, front end here. And I also made these, um, headlight covers some P, um, acrylic I cut out and uh, taped the backside, taped off the lines, spray painted gold with uh, this uh, this uh, VHT engine metallic. The uh, color just says uh, gold flake. It's tough to see, but. Anyway. So, uh, I kind of got this intake mocked up, what it's going to look like, similar, that's, um, I think that's something similar to what I'm going to do, instead of going with the Fox blower, and um, the hood's just got some base spray paint on it, I'm going to come back in and sand everything down, I left a lot of the rust and stuff, and uh, the welds are exposed, because I want this to look really beat up, kind of like a... Um, Again, trying to like mimic the uh, Mad Max car, not necessarily duplicate it. So, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up. Um, I know earlier, probably in the video, we talked about these uh, emblems I had made, and I'm actually drug out this uh, video filming long enough that uh, this is the second set that I've had made. Including um, my own special logo for the Outrider Outrider Interceptor, and these are being made by Corex Metalworks. I guess that's how you say that. Um, I'll try to get the Facebook. He's got a Facebook page. There we go. Really cool guy. Really, uh, really good communication. I mean, no problems. He actually made me this stencil, so uh, I'll be able to put, I'll be able to like just spray paint over top of it, and um, 
actually put the Morton Joe emblem on materials or whatever. So cool guy, making cool stuff. Check him out again. Corax Metalworks, and he's pretty cheap too, man. I mean, this stuff. I don't know what cheap is to people. I know it's all relative, but to me, it, it's cheap, you know. So anyway, that's kind of an update on where we're at right now with the car. Uh, we got some other stuff going on that be coming up. I'm making a. Um, I've been kind of. I work all over. I don't work on one thing at one time. I jump around. I've been making a roof rack, which is that was that's what this is. And we actually been working some more in the back of the car, doing some suspension work and stuff like that. So there's more videos to come, guys. It's just I kind of work all over the place when I feel like it and do what I feel like doing. And um, it takes a while to piece a video together. So this is where we're going to stop this one. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.